Hello, this is Zoe Mutecha, and this is my kitchen counter beat. for Banda Banda on bass and Kurt Petrus on keys. I keep the company of very sexy gentlemen. Um, and that was uh, our single actually looking into the next year called Lengoma. This is our healing. This is our song. 
And the next song we'll be doing is a Zulu fairy tale called Inganekwane that talks about the demise of a relationship.
Nenzi stwetwe sako Nga tembi sa That song you said was about? Um, so this song is called Inga Nekwane, and it's based on the idea of a Zulu fairy tale. So we're playing around with folklore because Inga Nekwane, when you tell it, you say Kwasuga Sugela, which means once upon a time. And the audience that listens receives it as Tos mm. So in this instance, instead of it being a fairy tale, um, it becomes a disaster because of the fact of the song being about heartbreak. Sure. Wow. Well, dude, listen, I just want to say that you are incredible. Woo-hoo! And and what an honor it is to have you in my kitchen. And what an honor it is to, to have your whole team here sharing your guys' gifts. You guys are ridiculously talented. Thank you so much for being on Kitchen Counter Beats. For those of you that don't know, that first song that you played was the first time you ever played it before. Woo-hoo! So we out here, Kitchen Counter Beats, getting them exclusives. <laughs> Well, listen, so you know, you, know, you know that I admire you a lot, and we don't need the world to know that, but now they do. You know, I, I want to get people into the kitchen that I really think are ridiculously talented at what they do. So thank you once again for being here. We ask everybody two questions, uh, and it's the same two questions all the time. We love food uh, here at Something's Cooking TV. So the first question that I want to know is, what is Zoe Modica's earliest food memory? <laughs> Uh, I feel like my earliest food memory, man, I must have had like full teeth, but I would say like home cooked spinach and pap. Mm. Yeah. Sound like my wife now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, spinach and pap. I dig, I dig pap. I've never been a fan of spinach, but anyway. Uh, second question is an interesting one. It's based on a show that we're writing at the moment called Celebrity Sandwich. So I'm going to give you the opportunity to tell us what would a Zoe Modica sandwich look like? Um, you know what? I want to actually ask some of my band members to help me put the sandwich together. So I would say rye bread, right? Put some margarine in there. Yes. And I'll start, I'll start off with like, um, what do you call that? Lettuce? Yes. Uh, give me an ingredient. Cold meat. Cold meat. Cold meat. And... <laughs> I think me, if it was for me, I would just choose something else. Like what? Uh, just something that you would have a jam. A jam? Yeah, just jam. Okay, so cold yeah, meat jam. and jam. Cold meat and jam. <laughs> With some um, lettuce on the side on <laughs> rye bread. Listen, that's definitely... Breaking some rules. The most unique sandwich that we've ever heard <laughs> of. But, but yeah, thanks. Myself and Poor Pops, who I'm riding the show with, will take that into consideration. And sure. we'll keep the Zoe Mordija sandwich unique. <laughs> Thank you once again for being here, and uh, we wish you all the best, and uh, we, just, we just pray that everything that you wish for comes to fruition. Thank you so much. One more for time for Zoe Mordica!